Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace of and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and true sincerity. Isaiah 55 and verse 6 Seek ye the Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon and his message is uh, to you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans and your wicked ways namely you young men <laughs> from ages 18 to 26 and, and um, beyond that or before that you're supposed to seek the Lord Yahweh the God of the Bible now, as you see on the screen, U.S. House passed bill automatically registering men 18 through, 20, 18 through 26 years old for draft. This is updated uh, June 18th yesterday. Today is the 19th. It says on June 14th, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, the United States House of Representatives passed H.R. 8070, the National Defense Authorization Act for 2025. A version of the bill gets passed every year because every year, the United States military needs a budget and Congress has to write the check. So I'm going to stop right there. All right, this is Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. And um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time to love and a time to hate. We're in, we're in, we're in a time of hate. There's no love out here. A time of war and a time of peace. We're in a time of war. If you 18 to 26 black, Hispanic, and Native American men have been figured out, all right, you just had yesterday on the 18th, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, visiting Kim Jong-un, the president of North Korea. There's a lot of war talk going on right now. You have that so-called war going on in the Gaza Strip, which is really a genocide, all right? You got the war in Ukraine that's been going on for two years. The war is in the air right now. We're warning our people to get right with the Heavenly Father. And I'm going to name this Seek the Creator in the Days of Thy Youth or Get Drafted by Uncle Sam. It's just plain as day. Seek the Lord, the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashem Shai, for you young men, you young black, Hispanic, and Native American men, or get drafted by the United States military and get sent off to war get shipped off but in the proposed version of the bill one particular item stood out to a lot of people the bill would automatically register all males between the ages of 18 and 26 in a selective service system or in more common terms the draft as you can see right here it says US House representatives passes bill automatically registering men age 18 through 26. They're going to be looking for fake brown faces like this. And you women too get hey, you women <laughs> you're going to get drafted as well. You young women between 18 and 26, you're going to get drafted. And the apostles and elders of Great Millstone have been saying this for years. Even my campaign has been saying it for years. They're going to draft you little young mother efforts out there. All right? in Saudi Arabia in, in the so-called Middle East and they're going to tell you to figure it out. It says U.S. House of Representatives passed bill automatically registering men 18 to 26 for selective service. It says 217 to 199. Foreigners will be excluded from this obligation. You know why? Because these foreigners are going to be left here. These foreigners that come over here so-called illegally, they're going to be here to uh, be the police force. They're going to uh, be the law out here in these streets while these young men are going to be sent out to war. All right, so we're, we're in a time of war and it's a uh, high time to wake out of sleep for you young black, Hispanic, and Native American men. Uh, bear me for a sec. Okay, so I have another scripture. 
going to go to Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. You're supposed to come back to your heavenly father. His name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. All right? It's already getting bad out here, but we're talking about evil times, bad times. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So you, it's imperative for you, namely you men, also you women too, to seek the Lord before the evil days come. And you don't get caught up in the Lord's judgment before, before you get shipped off to the so-called Middle East to fight this third world war. Because World War III is coming. It's prophesied in the Bible. You can read about it in Revelation 11 and 14. The second world, two worlds have passed. Behold, the third world coming quickly. Those worlds, those worlds refer to world wars. Verse 2, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened or the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few. There's going to be less and less jobs out here. All right. And the only job really is going to be joining the military. You know, because they'll, they'll give you that promise of you can get a Hellcat. They'll pay for your education. But you're not coming back after this third world war. All right. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. Verse 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grind is low. Yeah. Less and less jobs. And that's going to turn into more crime. And they're going to use those foreigners out here to bring in some type of justice. Knocking you people upside the head over here in America. It says. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grind is low. He shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, this music out here is, is pretty much crash out music. That's what you youth listen to. So, hey, if you don't seek the Lord now, hey, the United States, Uncle Sam's going to send you out there on a crash out mission. All right. On a dummy mission. All right. Because they don't give a damn about you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right. Now, let me get the scripture in Joel. Because this is where they're going to ship you off to. Um, you know, you better seek the Lord while you can, you young, black, Hispanic, and Native American males, aged 18 to 26. And I'm going to say that, you, you little teenagers too, you little 12-year-olds, you better fear the Lord too, man. You're out there uh, smoking all types of weed, drinking uh, lean, mud, activists, whatever you want to call it nowadays, committing crimes. Hey, the Lord got your number, man. So this message is for you young punks, ages 18 to 26. You better get your head right and get right with the Lord. Or else they're going to send your ass out there. And some of you are, are, are coming up to the age of uh, 18. Some of y'all just graduated from high school. If you, if, you, if you barely did that, you see these little young teenagers out here, these little young, crunchy, dreadhead, mophead, dreadhead, 17, 18-year-olds. Uh, All they do is smoke weed. And selling their mom's cows. Those guys are going to get drafted out there. And they're going to get sent out there. They're going to be under all types of drug withdrawals. And they're going to tell you to figure it out. Joel chapter 2 and verse 20. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. The northern army is the United States army. This army right here. Good old Uncle Sam. They want a few good men. <laughs> But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. That's going into the Saudi Arabian area. When you look at Saudi Arabia, there's no Walmart centers. Okay. There's no smoke shops. There's no crab shacks. It's just an old, it's, it's a desert. All right. Now, the last lesson I did on Joel 2 and 20, they were trying to build... Uh, a new su uh, super smart city but that's been halted you know why because the lord is putting the spirit on these nations to get ready for war he says scratch that we, we we're gonna put because the lord can put an idea into man's head the scriptures say man's goings is of the lord so they scrap that and say hey, we're getting ready for war and then i believe saudi arabia <clears throat> is getting away from the petrol dollar and that's going to take some time but you're going to see hyperinflation here in the united states and we've been telling you 
uh, old and young, men and women who are Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners, what it is according to the scriptures. But you don't want to listen. You walk down the block, too busy smoking weed, too busy living your best life, too busy trying to be the next rapper. They're going to send all you little rappers out there, all right, to Saudi Arabia to go fight this third world war. Continuing on, it says, And I will drive him into a land barren and desolate, with his face toward the East Sea, that's the Euphrates, and its hinder part toward the utmost sea, which is the Red Sea. So in between that is, you know, the Saudi Arabia area. And his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he have done great things. There's going to be a lot of death out here. You're not coming back. You're not going to come back here and drive in a 2025 or 2026 Hellcat. You're going to be in a, <laughs> you're going to be just left there for dead. All right, dead on arrival. You're going to be left out there. All right. So I got one more. I got a few more scriptures. I got to get ready to go to work. All right. So you're supposed to seek the Lord. Those guys on the street corners, namely Great Millstone, who are teaching the word. It's imperative that you get this word now. Especially you young people between ages 18 to 26. And, and, and you uh, young men and women that's age 17. You, yeah, you better be trembling right now, man. All right, because they could, they could select you for the draft at any given moment, man. All right, this is uh, 2 Chronicles uh, 15 and verses uh, 12 and 13. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. All right, during the process of reincarnation, we made an oath to the Heavenly Father. Namely, when Moses came down from uh, Mount Sinai with the 613 law, statutes, commandments. That whosoever, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel, the God, the, the name, the God of the Bible's name is Yahweh, and his son is Yahweh Shai, should be put to death. And being sent out there on a dummy mission in World War III, you're going to get put to death if you don't seek the Lord. Whether small or great, whether man or woman, because you, you, as you can see, there's a woman back here. All you little thought pockets, you want to have a hot girl summer? Hey, this might be your last summer. For you wiki people that don't want to hear this message, hey, we'll, we'll live it up, man. Because, hey, you might be getting drafted come wintertime, man. And these tensions are going to uh, rise up even more and more. Say, so, hey, with that, hey, seek, seek the creator in the days of thy youth or get drafted by Uncle Sam. Shalom.